Hello, good evening. Hello, very good evening. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Shahin? I'm perfect. Thanks okay. for asking. Okay, great. Wonderful. So I'll just get the topic and we'll get started. Uh, so. All right. Oh, wonderful. The topic is miracles. Okay. All right. Uh, we all love miracles sometime or the other. Okay. So I'll start out with a few questions and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay. All right. Okay. So do you believe in miracles and what does the word mean to you? I hope and we feel that nothing can happen and suddenly uh, something unexpected happen or um, things start moving in our favor. I think it's a miracle for me. Yes, absolutely. Hope is a very big word that we can use. Yes, hope. And it starts working in our favor. So definitely we can say that it's a miracle. All right. Yes, very nice. Uh, have you ever experienced anything like a miracle? So if, if you talk of, so we all experience miracles at different, uh, you know, st stages at different times in different ways, uh, you know. So uh, any time in your life, have you experienced some such kind of a miracle or, you know, which you, you call that, no, that was a miracle? I think, yes, many times when I stuck uh, in my work, and uh, I thought that I'm going to lose something big uh, in my life. And uh, I got some unexpected help from unknown people, which I was not expecting. And it was a lifesaver for me. It could give a turning point to my life. So yes, it was a miracle for me. Okay, great, wonderful, nice. Uh, all right. Uh, have you read about a miracle in the newspaper? What are some of the miracles? Yes. What are some of the miracles that you've heard or, about or what are some of the miracles that you've read in the newspapers uh, about? Uh, I think uh, I had came across, come across a news that uh, a mother had died after uh, giving birth a baby. Uh, she died in the space. And uh, he was just uh, trying to wake up. It was looking like, actually, it was a baby of few hours only. And uh, after some time, when mother uh, heard cry of her baby and doctors had diagnosed her dead, she became alive. So I think it's not a less than miracle. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yes, there, there was a case when... Um, when almost you know the baby was proclaimed dead and they tried to revive it they tried the doctors tried their best you know to revive it and then yes absolutely it can be nothing so i would like to share over here a small incident uh, which i think is nothing less than a miracle because uh, so i was i'm a traveler and i love traveling and recently i did visit Alibag because i love beaches so on on the return trip we we took the train and uh, we were coming back by the uh, by the local from Lonavla. And uh, it's very funny. I don't know why people want to run and catch the local. You know, even if you're late or whatever it is. So the people were really risking their lives. They were literally running and, you know, catching the local, which which was so dangerous to, to even look at something like that. And this person was running and he actually fell on the platform. Oh, my he, God. Yes, and, and the driver literally had to, I think, even he stopped the, the train, you know, thinking that we don't know what has happened to this guy. And people got down from the bogies just to go and look that, you know, what happened to this person. But luckily, praise God, not a single scratch on this gentleman. Oh, my God, it's not less than a miracle. <laughs> yes, he then he came into the ladies' compartment, no doubt, because we were traveling in the ladies' compartment in the Lunavla local, and uh, because he just fell like that, he just missed for going between the train, and of course ev everybody came, and we were also worried that you know what happened, and he said no, I'm fine, it's okay, I, I, I it's not like I've broken any bone or, you know, something like that, and then of course he traveled in the ladies' compartment, big deal, we know what had happened, so even we were like you know kind of it's okay, fine, let let him be there that kind but you know yeah and then immediately i just thank god i said this is how you protect your people you know this is how you yes. are so kind that anything could have happened to that guy of course shouldn't run like that to catch a local but then who knows what what his uh you know uh, uh what his situation was that he 
we had to so yeah so uh, that's when i i really felt that okay thank you thank you so much for for such miracles so yeah so you know little gifts of, of miracles we we unfold at different times so yeah that's yes, that's something that i just felt i i could share in this conversation which is so beautiful yes yes great all right all right let's see what are the other prompts given uh what's the difference between miracles and coincidences coincidences or are they connected yes very nice so sometimes we often say oh this is by accident or oh this just happened oh what a coincidence or you know like i meet my friend i i don't have a you know a plan of meeting but i just meet somebody whom i know so do you believe in coincidences do you believe in accidents do you think that if something happens in your life it is by accident or coincident or is it planned is it a plan of of god that you know this has to happen in your life uh i have read and heard all, uh, also that uh, some telepathic connections are there so yes. if somebody yes. if i'm missing uh, some of my friend and she uh, and Uh, within new uh, next few seconds she called me uh, so yes it's a coincidence or just happen means not a regular friend but if we yeah, talk about it in a while uh, yeah. yeah yeah and the uh, ones uh, uh, i was thinking about a lady which uh, doesn't come to my home after her uh, marriage so i was just thinking about her in the afternoon and in the evening she was uh, in my house so it was like a coincidence like from a long time more than 3 4 years she didn't uh, visit our home and uh, suddenly uh, that evening she came our home so yeah it was a coincidence maybe i was thinking about her and uh, it was like a manifestation okay wonderful yes i do totally believe in telepathy that uh, you know uh, there is a a connection we as human beings do have that connection even if we don't speak or if we don't uh, you know physically open our mouth and speak or you know uh, th- there are certain signs certain connections that that do take place i i do believe Okay, great. Wonderful, Shahin. All right. Thank you so much for speaking on this topic. We're not finished yet, but I just would like to ask you that: Is it okay if I share corrections or communication uh, feedback with absolutely, you? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, great. So, um, well, I find that you're not a basic speaker of the language. I see that you are able to communicate your ideas into words and sentences with ease, which is wonderful. You frame complete sentences, which is good. so uh, i i really feel there is a, a sense of finesse and polishness to your communication of course uh, when i say that there are certain areas of improvement i share two sentences with you when i stuck in my work when i get stuck at work okay or when i get stuck with my work okay. um, then i um, then i have experienced miracles where i've been you know helped with whatever okay. wish to say okay suddenly she came our home suddenly she visited our house or suddenly she visited our home suddenly she came to our home if you want to use the specific words as she came suddenly she came to our home you know okay. so yeah only these two sentences which i uh, it's a uh, i think it's a prepositional mistake yes suddenly she came to us so very minor uh, grammar errors that i do find um which i'm quite sure with the passage of time uh, it will get polished it will uh, you know get clean okay wonderful so that's about it that i had to share uh, we can move on with the topic uh, do you have any questions uh, if you would like to ask before we move on no okay mm, okay so i'll go back to the topic miracles can we create our own miracles and how do you think we we can create our own miracles and if so how i think miracle is not something which human can create mm-hmm. firstly and if you really want to create a miracle uh we can't call it miracle but it could be a miracle for other person we can help people 
who are not able to um, do something for themselves so uh, with a little bit help or with a little bit sacrifice we can be miracle for them we can become miracle for them actually we know that it's not a miracle yeah yeah i totally get you no no you're right I, i'm yeah. totally with you i i totally feel that that's a very beautiful way uh, of of putting it as a miracle because it it is you know when when you help somebody whether it doesn't matter the magnitude of help it doesn't matter whether you're helping little or you're helping so much or something but but even the thought of helping someone is so beautiful it it is nothing less than a miracle so I, like I, uh, to homeless people in winter season we can give them shawl sweater a kind of thing it's not a less than miracle in this cold for them people who are starving if we just provide some food or ration for few days it's a miracle for them and uh, actually it's not a miracle but they can feel that yeah it's a miracle yeah i'm totally with you i i totally feel it is nothing less than you know um, making a miracle what a beautiful thought thank you shahin so much for sharing that with me today yeah. lovely lovely i i will really i really enjoyed this thing beautiful yeah that you share something with someone it's great amazing yes so that's a great way to to start off a miracle okay uh are there any miracles that are impossible okay i i don't know why they okay i it's just a question over there are there any miracles which are impossible the thing uh, which are not in the capacity of a human these those things are impossible but if you believe in god or some super power nature whatever we call and if we trust and we ask uh, him or her whatever you feel we ask them and if really that nature or creator of world want to give us it's not impossible but for human definitely certain things are impossible praise god yes absolutely even i feel with human beings yes it is impossible but with god it is not impossible so he can give us whatever you know if we ask him he will surely make it possible for us beautiful so there are no miracles that are impossible actually if you put it that way okay great very nice uh, narrate a story about hard work creating miracles okay so they've said over here narrate a story about hard work creating miracles okay so i think what they mean to say is uh, maybe if you work hard you can achieve what you want or you can get miracles through your hard work that's that's what they say so uh, have you witnessed uh, may not be uh, yeah or maybe have you do you have an experience where hard work creates miracles mm yes uh, to and some extent i can say uh, it was a miracle uh, i have seen a person um who belongs to a poor family and uh, in competitive exams uh, going through competitive exams or cracking the exams is it's not a, a very easy task but that person got selected in one government job then he left then he got selected to another job he left then third time he got another government job he left and fourth time he um, reached to a quite higher post and then he joined so i think a person from a poor family with uh, uh, i can say that under privilege yes he was under privileged um, boy of a farmer and he could achieve so i i think uh, it's a miracle he um, achieved or he could um, reach to that level with his hard work so yeah it's a miracle because nowadays cracking competitive exams is a dream for many people and he left the three to four job easily he was enough confident yeah uh, yeah absolutely absolutely yeah i mean cracking jobs yeah absolutely i totally agree with you okay wonderful great all right we'll do two sentences he got selected to another job he got selected in another job Okay. or he got select yeah he got selected in another job okay in he reached to higher post he reached a higher post okay or he uh he rose to a higher post or he got a higher post okay he again prepositional mistake yeah prepositional 
he uh, achieved a higher post you can even say that he achieved a higher uh, designation okay yeah you can even use the word designation you know he yeah. achieved a higher or he went on a higher designation you can say okay. that. so just it'll help you with in terms of vocabulary also okay great wonderful uh all right let's see what we'll continue our conversation um uh guardian reward all right so um well continuing our conversation we may not stick very strictly to miracles just because i think we're, we're running out of questions over here we already have discussed uh some amount of miracles but uh moving on with conversation um we spoke of coincidence we spoke of so um are there any tragic instances uh, or uh, or any any such kind of instances which you would feel free to share it not necessarily is a miraculous uh, incident but maybe a very uh, maybe inspirational one or maybe a very tragic one it could be a very uh, pleasant it could be a pleasant surprise uh you know something any any such incident maybe which which kind of uh, helped you learn something from it or just something that you would like to share you you can feel free to do that as well something unexpected maybe that took place uh, which you were not expecting but uh you know which which totally happened and and you you really you know do remember it till today so anything of the sort you you can feel free to share i think uh Mm, many people motivated me in life but at the moment it's quite difficult for me to uh, remember mm-hmm. mm, yes uh, mm, uh, i can uh, share a general incident with you uh, since i'm living in a small town okay whenever uh, due to some work or uh, when we mm, go for uh, like picnic or something or just to visit some places when i see people uh, they are quite uh, broad minded well developed um, financially uh, then mentally i think more than financially your mental state your broad spectrum of thinking is more important for me beautiful so, uh, i've i've learned uh, from these people uh, that we we have got this one life and the days are passing and every day has finished and we are not realizing that how much time we have in our hands so whatever coming on our way or coming in our way just enjoy it and uh, live peacefully instead of uh, you know trying to make some trouble or uh, just uh, getting in the um what can i say uh, by just worrying uh, other things what will happen who will say what and what will happen and uh, uh, i will spoil my image uh, in front of people do whatever you want unless and until you are not doing something wrong and not harming somebody so yeah some people have in- you you are on mute yeah Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. How lovely. Uh, beautiful that was Shaheen, especially when you used words like a spectrum of broad spectrum of thinking, you know. These are the kind of uh, this is the kind of vocabulary that will really lace your communication. It will really take your communication to the next level. And also so yes, so please I do encourage you to, you know, use vocabulary, use words. So this is a perfect example of how uh, you know, and I tell learners also, I say you don't have to use big words. just to make your communication sound good that's not how you can make your communication sound good but even the choice of words and how you choose to project it yeah you know makes gives that flavor gives that um, you know aroma to your communication gives you that kind of finesse that kind of polishness so as you said you know a broad spectrum of thinking right so these were very simple words but the way in which they were spoken you know puts across the message that what you want to convey so beautiful yes definitely so it's it's basically live and let live i think that's what you were trying to say which is which i think many people need to 
adopt and practice many people hmm, i wish they were listening in on this conversation okay yeah it happens a lot in small towns yeah yes absolutely absolutely and the big cities are nothing better you know uh, metro cities are nothing better you know although uh, uh, you know they they think they are advanced but again i think gossip is all over the place you know people i think <laughs> love love to uh, peek into somebody else's lives they are not so much bothered about what's going on in their own but they want to peek into uh, you know the other person's <laughs> life so i think but but yes a beautiful message that you know live and let live kind of a thing great could not be more apt all right blessing in disguise so it's something that seems bad or unlucky at first but causes something good to happen later blessing in disguise i think we we all have some time or the other maybe come across certain situations which at first glance doesn't seem very very good very uh, nice uh, to happen but then later on you feel that it's it's one of the best things that could have happened to you so yes what what is what are your thoughts or opinions on this uh, sentence of blessing in disguise you can choose to either narrate an incident or or you can just speak whatever you feel about it no, no. Uh, yes i have experience it a lot uh, uh, lots and lots uh, lots of time when we travel or uh, when we do some important task yes it happens but i would love to share one incident with you one of our uh, senior authority he is like uh, uh, and we can call him very disciplinary strict and uh, a bit angry as well so initially we were like he is like that only and uh, we would uh, sometimes we would uh, criticize is okay for is a okay word for him but later on we realized that because of his strictness and his uh, a bit uh, angry nature we were doing all the things uh, on time and uh, in place so at the time of final annual inspection or whenever some team come suddenly we realized that uh, he is a life saver for us and due yes. to his uh, sickness we could manage to um, do things Uh, in our time limits and uh, we kept everything on our place because he is going to shout at us so yes that person is a blessing in disguise yes absolutely a lot of situations they do have a, another uh, maybe phrase that works well in uh, for this would be uh, every cloud has a silver lining yes so um, even though that you know uh there are certain uh, things that may seem little bit uh, daunting and dark at, at, so there is something good in in everything wonderful wonderful okay on that note uh, moving on um sorry we just open mm. okay um i think we we covered most of the questions we all right yes any anything you any questions you might have because since i think our time is nearly up so before uh, the session ends do you, would you like to ask something or say something no no you're good to go <laughs> all right great so yes yeah, so in terms of feedback uh, i think i've i've shared with you that that you're doing pretty well in terms of communication so uh, apart from a little bit of errors here and there i think uh, i think you're good to go and maybe if i need to make a suggestion i would just say maybe vocabulary maybe uh, you can use more uh, words maybe words which are uh, a little above average that will that will only take you to the next level so since you're already so good at what uh, you know the, the the way in which you communicate so yeah that's that's a valid from my end am i on the intermediate level yes 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 you are on the intermediate level definitely i would say that and if you start using in idioms uh, even more if you start using phrases like for example blessing in disguise a uh, silver uh, you know every cloud has a silver lining uh, if you start using this sure sure thank you for your feedback more than welcome all right great well then i guess it was a wonderful class and i wish you all the best keep practicing keep moving forward thank you more than nice welcome. to meet you save your save your shine see <laughs> bye bye cheers bye bye <laughs>